Good afternoon, everybody. This is Hades Star. We're going to be going over some Red Star battles. Probably stick with RS3 and higher. Just to make things simple. Level 1 and level 2 are good intros, but not very challenging strategically. Uh, however, Red Star 3... We introduced the Cerberus Sentinel, and they do a massive amount of damage, though they don't have a lot of hit points. This is a member of our corporation. Um, he's got Battleship Level 2, I believe, maybe a Level 1. Let's see, that's Level 2. Got a support mod. You're allowed two Battleships in Red Star 3. Now, the trick is to avoid the Sentinels. The You don't want to engage them second. You always want to hit them first if possible. Um, a heavy strategy at this level is to have EMP. Uh, some of them opt for Sanctuary, but it's not very useful at this level. Sacrificing your battleship just isn't worth it. Um, this corporation member, I watched this battle already once, and he's got the strategy down pretty good. You saw he launched his transports as soon as he engaged in the sector that he was fighting in, and now while he's loading his relics, or artifacts, in Red Star, relics and White Star, he's going to go ahead and move his battleships to engage another planet. Now... This first Sentinel he grabs pretty easy. The second one is up here in the top of the sector. It makes it a little challenging, but that's okay. He's He's got a good strategy. We'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit. He's going to go ahead and pull both of them. Then he's going to backtrack an EMP. Uh, the e EMP will stop them for 30 seconds or more depending on the level okay we'll go ahead and see 33 seconds on the counter and now he has time to take out both the guardian and the sentinel now what i noticed while watching him is he's looking at his time and wondering how far he can get before he before he runs out of time he's got 11 minutes and 10 seconds or so left and he ends up clearing pretty much the whole map it's actually quite impressive time management and his ability to to take out each planet without having to get another battleship or let the cooldowns refresh too much he's burned one emp and the timer on those is roughly five minutes. And we're just going to speed it up a little bit and watch. He's going to come across and get this Guardian. It's important to clear these out from your warp gate if possible. That way on your return trip you're not having to dodge. Especially if you're pressed for time. Now he's going to send them. He's going to drag them to this asteroid. And then send his fresh EMP out. Lock him up. Now this one, he didn't really have a choice. But he's got to kill the Guardian before he can get to the two Sentinels. It's a little unfortunate. It does take a little bit of damage. But he clears him out. And then you can kind of see him hesitating before he continues on. Most likely debating strategy and looking at his clock to see how much time he has. And he's sending, he's multitasking really well. He's sending his transports back with artifacts and bringing in that back in immediately so that he can continue fighting. Now he's burned up one of his shields completely. Um, another thing to notice, he's sending his EMP ship out just a little bit ahead of his other one. That way when he grabs them all, he's hitting the EMP on the enemies only. And the EMP is not getting his own battleship. So we're going to speed this up. Beautiful.
he does a really really good job of multitasking and time management i'm not real sure i agree with the order that he cleared these planets in but i can't argue with the effectiveness of it he's while he's engaging these guardians and sentinels and clearing these sectors out oh that's clever he's got a red star life extender it doesn't add too much but it adds enough to make a difference so that he can get in and out pretty straightforward he's got the strategy down pat i'm not sure uh, if he learned that on his own or watching our other corporation members but he does a very very good job of time management and enemy management he didn't lose a single ship he lost a little bit of structure on his battleships, but overall, it was very, very effective. He came out with probably 10, 10 or so artifacts. It's a good little chunk of change, uh, especially for Red Star 3 and with his weapons and shields that he's got. Uh, we're going to dive into some Red Star 4s, 5s, 6s, and... Uh, hopefully a couple sevens our guild leader and one of our newest members has access to those uh, red star five presents some interesting challenges six even more so seven is a whole new level of frustrating if you're not used to it all right guys well we'll take a look at those at another episode thanks again